okay, this is great. Just released hot off the presses this morning. Astro Chronicles uh, doing his art uh, modeling the way that uh, only he can do it. And Anvil Liberator. Let's check it out and let's see what he's up to here. Wow, uh, it looks like he's working with textures. Dude, I like it. He's flattening out some of his textures. I like that. I like that a lot. I like what he's doing. There's a little bit more realism that way. Wow. He just, he actually streams live on YouTube while he's making this. You guys can check it out. It's really fun to watch. Kind of like how Star Jump does. Wow. What was the price of the Liberator again? I forget. Was it in the $500 range? Thanks, Limitless. Thanks for listening, bro. <laughs> for real. Listen, I know some people get mad at me when I put these on here because they're like, oh, DG, it's clickbait when you do this. This really isn't it. But I'm telling you, uh, fucking Astro puts a lot of time into this, man. And for ships that aren't out there and we don't get we don't have an idea of scale or, or scope, I think these types of videos are really super helpful. And I, I love them. Like, I love the interpretation here. And it does. It gives you a really good idea of, like, size. You know, that's what she said. Right, right, Quincy? Thank you, Limitless. Thank you, bro. Corona doesn't like the music. I like it. It's like trancy. fuel tanks on the uh on the starboard and port sides man they, these fuel tanks man do, doesn't that remind you what the fuck was the name of that ship wing commander you remember the the fueling the fueling ship that had the big old tanks on it in wing commander dude like that totally gives me like wing commander vibes i cannot remember the name of that ship man 
It's going to kill me. I'm going to have to look into uh, old wing commander ships. You know? That was good. That was cool, man. I like that. Uh, go over to Astro's channel. I am subscribed. Cool dude. He just put this out this morning, Anvil Liberator. Uh, and it just gives you an idea of, of, of the scale, you know. And um, uh, Limitless says $500 war bond, uh, $575 without. Uh, so when it initially came out, I was kind of like not sure about it. Uh, but it is growing on me. It is growing on me. And I could do a whole video about... Uh, the reasons why I think maybe not worth 500 though. That's the one thing I would say about that ship. I'm not quite sure it would be like in the $500 price range for me on that ship. I would say like upper three, lower four is the highest I'd stretch. But I mean, it does bring in inter interesting tactical gameplay that, that is needed. <laughs> um, and uh, you know what it, what it pretends to be is is going to be something that is a, a, a surfacing a, a vehicle like an assault a, a small carrier that you would bring in an assault um ground assault specifically so you have air uh to to land combat surface to air uh and i've always been fascinated with that combat like surface to air air to surface kind of combat i really am down for like very very deep game design in that territory with all you know ships and, and ground vehicles i want to be immersed in a in a combat area uh with with hundreds of players that's like an air surface kind of combat situation dude that would be fun on both sides of the spectrum that would be a lot of fun and this game fills that that role fills par partially what it is that I that I really love like mixing the FPS with the uh, flight combat I think is very very uh, interesting it appeals to me and I think on a game design level really hasn't been done properly um, to the point where I feel super immersed so I'm looking forward to that anyway Astro Chronicles go check out his channel uh, really cool dude does a lot of theory crafting designs his own vehicles uh, for ideas a lot of time Donnie who works at Cloud Imperium when he chills with us I'll shoot over some of Astro's ideas to him because I really think that hey uh, this is a guy that brings up really great ideas like racing beacons I think that's something that could be easily in implemented um, and it came straight from Astro Chronicles Noggin and you know I think the relationship between the backers and the employees of Cloud Imperium is really important because a lot of the times the fan base or the gamers that play the game come up with better ideas than the developers because <laughs> we're playing it, you know? So I think Astro is the type of dude that Cloud Imperium should list, listen to. So anyway, boom, go click it, go subscribe, cool dude. And uh, I think kind of opens everybody's minds up. He opened my mind up. Yeah.